we, we've seen some police officers taking down posters of kidnapped victims, British citizens being held hostage in a foreign country. What was that about? So this is one of those examples where um, people bouncing things around Twitter aren't interested in the facts. So officers are making precise interventions on a narrow set of circumstances to try and diffuse issues that may create tension. So in, in that instance, so the police, we're not going around taking down those posters. It's perfectly reasonable to campaign about those issues and to want to raise the profile of it. Of course it is. Um, we got a call from a member of the public. Um, those two posters were on a shop where it was linked to an online dispute where someone in the shop was quite pro Palestinian and there been some debate around it. And there was a view that those posts had been put on that shop deliberately because someone pro Palestinian worked there. So they were put on there for a particular reason and to, talking to the caller and the, the police officers took the view actually, you don't have a right to go and put posters on somebody else's shop if it's not welcome. It just makes sense to take it out of the way to deflame it. Just like the previous week, um, we were take, we were sort of ensuring that some flags were removed, some Palestinian flags were removed from a Jewish cemetery. Again, that's not an offence, but it's just not appropriate. It's adding to it. So there's officers trying to make practical decisions to de-escalate situ de -escalate situations. But in the world of the way public debate now operates, people who are chasing their own notoriety or even worse, trying to stir tension, ignore those facts, ignore what is put out as an explanation and just use it to try and stir up um, tension by suggesting the sort of police have some sort of anti bias. There's no bias there, we're just trying to manage tension. The News Agents. This is a Global Player original podcast.